Welcome to the project demonstration of Smart Pillow. So here uh, we are developing a uh, system which is going to mount inside a pillow and uh, which has the features like uh, slow music when the person want to sleep and alarm setting from the IoT Blink application using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and also when we set the time till the time the system can announce the music so that music can be uh, very like uh, you can change the music from this memory card just push to unlock this memory card and you can change the music and push to lock again and if you doesn't want to the play music just you can off and on this one now it is on position above is on below is the off position and the next uh, once the play music was playing if the person uh, sleeping position was not properly is like uh, moving in every second then that will be captured with the help of this MEMS uh, ADXL 345 sensor and from there we are going to plot the same data of, of x y z parameters into the thing speak to analyze the person uh, sleeping uh, whether it is plot properly or not and we can control the volume from this one is a volume controller and the next third uh, next feature is like if the person was snoring so in order to disturb his snoring with the help of this microphone so here we have placed the microphone is a microphone sensor which will detect the uh, person snoring heavy sound and based on that signal the system will on these vibrators so the vibrators on purpose two cases one is snow detection and another is once the alarm time completes for example if you keep for 30 seconds so the system is on for 30 seconds the music and monitoring done for the 30 seconds the monitoring is continuously done so the system on the like uh, timer the music one so once the time completes then it will stop the music and announce the uh, sorry uh, on this vibrators in order to inform him the alarm was completed so in before that if the person was snoring then all of the vibrations will be get switched on so this is the main purpose of this project so here we have interfaced the MEMS ADXL 345 for uh, x z y axis in x, uh, z, x y z axis inputs uh, interface at the A4 and A5 and sound sensor at A0 vibration sensors vibration modules interface at the pin number 12 and the next uh, this uh, music player DF mini player interface at the 8, 9, 10 pins of our Unipod directly and uh, 0 and 1 interface for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp rechargeable battery so as the operating voltage of our total modules is 5 volts so for that purpose we have placed the LM2596 voltage regulator which will take to bellows DC input and provide us the 5 volts constant DC output so when we on this so here the, the switch is above is the on and below is the off so when we on that the Arduino you know, start reading input from the ESP8266 first and then reading input from this ADXL345 and upload the data to the ThingSpeak so let us see the ThingSpeak data so this is smart pillow just click on this channel so there we get the X, Y, Z parameters previously we have uploaded while we are testing so if you want to erase the data and you want to get the fresh data so my suggestion is to download the data for that go to data import exports and download the data and uh, it will be open in excel sheets so we can uh, we can get the data in terms of like initial column is date and time and the next column is number of entries till now captured and the x y z so these are the parameters we have downloaded in excel sheet with respect to the time so for every 15 seconds the data will be captured in this and plotted on the thing speak so after you have downloaded the dots uh, data go to channel settings and now do clear channel don't do any other options do clear channel once you have cleared the channel now go to private view private view to access the live data channel settings only clear channel and data import export to download the data now the old data got erased and the next step is we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone and change the hotspot name to project 5957 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 123456789 AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz after this setting successfully done on the hotspot and data log into the Think up, uh, ThinkSpeak and also Blink application so here we are using the Blink application right so this is the slider to set the time for the snoring now on the power supply 
to the battery switch on yeah one more thing is i forgot about the battery charging station so you don't have to charge a battery just connect the battery at this slot as i shown and on the power supply to this transformer so the transformer will charge a uh, battery in a duration of 6 to 8 hours 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum till that keep the battery under ch full charge before demonstration of the project so once the time completes automatically this charging circuits will block the current flow to protect the battery from overcharging and you can disconnect this from this one and now on the hotspot we have already done and now on the power supply to the cage so wait the lights blinking on this uh, so called uh, uh, Arduino you know and uh, next you can stay on this screen right so wait till the first sample to be uploaded to this thing speak then we can go to the blink application as a confirmation of the system is stabilized and now it is initialization successfully done so if you like maximum 10 to 15 seconds duration right we got the sample of x y z from this sensor okay now go to the blink application now connect to that so now we'll set the time for so when you hold this bar so when we are sliding that when you are sliding then automatically the time will be set like this okay so when you release that then only the so called time will be set so now I am resetting it again Better off and on. Right. So now let us place it for. So you can slide till that. When you release that switch, then automatically we can see the light get switched on on this DF mini player and the music is getting playing you can increase the volume if you don't want to on that you can just off this playing the sound so 30 seconds we set the time So once the time completes automatically the vibrators got switched on you can see the vibration is happening now so everything was done you can just reset this for stop the vibrations or else you can uh, off the power supply also now let us see the now i'm setting 30 seconds again now if the snoring was detected You can see the vibrations are occurring now. Music is doesn't interrupt the mic condenser, only the snoring. You can see that. Right. Okay. So in this manner, we are going to uh, provide the and monitor the assistance of the sleeping person. So providing the alarm system and monitoring his uh, sleeping status by using the ThinkSpeak Blink application, setting the alarm time. So this is all about the smart pillow.